Hey y'all, I came to say hi. Um, I'm going to be off camera uh, for most of the video, but I just wanted to come and say hi. What's up y'all? Welcome back. It's almost summertime. I have a whole lot of repotting to do. A lot of them have compacted soil and I have some propagations to pot up. And I thought that I would actually make up or create an actual aeroid mix, an actual aeroid soil composition for my aeroids because as the name implies, aeroids require airy soil and hydrating soil. So this is what I will be doing today. I'll be making my own kind of, you know, um, using my common sense. And um, using what I've learned uh, by watching other YouTubers and um, we'll just go from there. All right, so here we go. Now the first product that I'll be putting in is this. Here, organic, is it organic? Yeah, organic, loose, chunky cocoa, cocoa chips and cocoa fibers. All right, so I'm gonna start off with just doing equal parts of everything that I have, and I'll just make adjustments here and there. Okay, so, and for the most part, I'm just going to be eyeing everything. Now, this container whoop, I purchased from Walmart. Okay, and it comes with a lid. This right here. And it closes up like so. And it clips in like that. All right, so this is going to be perfect because um, it's going to reduce the chance of it spilling out the stuff spilling out or if it drops it's not the lid is just not gonna pop off and everything's gonna go flying so we're gonna avoid a lot of um, mess that way so as i mentioned i'm going to start off with like equal parts of everything and um, i'm just gonna eyeball it i'm not really going to measure um, or maybe i'll use my scoop actually i use my scoop all right, and then I'll start with that. So I'll put about three to four scoops of everything. So one. Oh, and let me just show you what this looks like. Okay, so this is the coconut chips and fibers. All right, and that's going to, oh, that was two, hold on. That was three, and four. Maybe I'll do a little bit more. I might just have to put the whole thing in it because it doesn't look like much, actually. You know, I'm just going to dump, I'll dump half of this. start with half there better next up organic charcoal horticultural charcoal okay and this is going to help keep the pots and the soil and everything um, clean I suppose it's I think it has some antibacterial properties it's just going to keep the potting mix fresh here is what this is looking like. Let me dump some of this in. That's how much I have in here. So this is what the mix is looking like thus far. And next thing I have is pumice so pumice for plants and I decided to go with pumice because like perlite it will add and assist with drainage 
but the good thing about pumice is that it is it's weighted right Pum, um, perlite is very light and buoyant so when you water your plants for the most part they get dislodged and they float up to the top right so with the pumice pumice stone they're weighted they're heavier and they'll stay where they are okay they're not going to keep up to the top of your pot and get dislodged so i'm gonna go with this today so let's put about half of that in here okay so here we go i'm loving the way this is looking already this is very chunky i feel like i'm gonna need some more already of everything is a nice mix thus far beautiful all right so we are going to add some bark so in here we got some bark some orchid bark This is the bark I'm putting in, minus some cocoa fibers here, but this is it. Seems to have some, some soil in it already. A little bit of soil. The pumice bits and rocks, those ones will stay in place. These ones will dislodge a little bit, but I'm just adding a little bit into it to keep the soil extra light and airy. Okay. And then I'm going to put in some soil in here. So some potting soil. Here you go. This I pick up from Walmart. And they're very cheap, low cost. But they do the job. They are great. So here it is. Okay, and I'm not going to put too much of this. Because as I said, this is what I usually use. And I usually use this with perlite by itself, uh, by themselves in the pot, and it causes a lot of compacting. So I'm just going to keep it light. Okay, and see how it goes. I'm going to use this mix once I'm done for some time. And I'll let y'all know if there's any issues with it, how my plants are doing, if they like it, if they don't. And then if I have to make amendments, I'll do those as well. I'm going to add a little bit more potting soil. So this potting soil actually has the following ingredients. So it has hummus, um, sphagnum, peat moss, uh, sand, and perlite. Okay. So this is how much I put in here. I'll give it a good mix. Now I hope that the soil doesn't doesn't settle at the bottom of every pot over time, causing compaction in only certain parts of it. I hope that's not the case. So this is what it looks like up close okay i'm contemplating whether i should put some more soil in it i'll put a little bit more perlite oh my gosh i didn't want to do that that's too much perlite that is way too much perlite. I didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna take some out. I'll 
Okay, so I did forget to hit record on the last portion that I did, that I recorded, or that I, um, that I have, of the stuff that I put in here, but I put in some more potting soil and I put in some sand, some sand that I purchased from Home Depot. I put a little bit in just to help keep it hydrating. I think this is good. This makes for a nice and airy and potting mix. It's gonna hold some water, but not too much, and it's gonna drain very well. I'm thinking I might wanna put a tiny bit of vermiculite in it to kind of amend a little bit of the sand that I put in here. Let's see, vermiculite is for seeding or for seedlings to grow seedlings and um, it holds a lot of water but still provides some drainage so I'm just gonna put a little bit in it just a little bit I'm trying not to breathe this stuff in Is close up this container and give it a shake. Right. So this is what my chunky aeroid mix looks like, guys. Okay, so we have cocoa chunks, um, pumice, orchid bark, perlite, pumice, I mentioned already, some potting soil, uh, some charcoal, and some sand, as well as some vermiculite, a little bit of vermiculite. All right, so that's that. Now, now I'm ready. Now I'm ready to pot up a lot of my plants. All right, thanks for watching, guys.